Warning. The story you're about to watch is completely fictional. All right, Doc. Did forensics finish with the port papers? Yes, we now have an address in Romania and a possible ID. Chief Rodriguez is talking to the Interpol personnel as we speak. Okay, and what about the women we found? There is no positive ID on them yet. One of them is allegedly a British national, named Ashley Palmer. She told us she has a sister who's been smuggled too, named Jenna Palmer. But she was not at the port. The other woman you found upstairs can barely speak English. The one you found in the container has seemingly just arrived to the US. She is currently at intensive care, taking a nourishing solution intravenously. She speaks Native American English. She told us her trip lasted more than four weeks, and they haven't opened the container at least once. During that period, they left animal food to feed her. She is malnourished and suffering from severe dysentery. We also finished with the graveyard Predmorian found on Vol's basement. Eight bodies. God damn it. What the fuck is wrong with those people? Cleric. The man you let go at the port has just called us. I'll play the recording of the conversation I just had with him. All right. Hello. How can I help you? Ah, uh, hello. I uh, got this number from one of your agents, I think, at the Port Hogan. Yes. We are aware of that. Do you want to contact the immigration office? Yes, but not now. There's a bomb. You said a bomb? Yes. They threw us at the street and told us to go away. I saw them throwing some boxes of papers in a room and making something that looked like a bomb. Where did you see this? At the place we were living. Caesar's car dealership. It's their captivity. I'm sure they're trying to destroy crucial evidence. Get their address and send a drone there. See if you can ID where they built the explosives. Roger. Cleric. Julia wants to talk to you. Okay. Hi, Julia. David, I'd like to tell you something. All right. Oh, well, where do I begin? First, thanks for saving my life. You know we don't have to mention it. Oh, but I do. Those people are very messed up. I'd also like to say that I'm... I'm sorry. For what? For Josh. I am too. No, that's not what I mean. I mean, I'm sorry for blaming you for what happened to him. I've been thinking about him a lot lately, and the state of the world. I've been thinking about you and the things you do. I think the conclusion of it is that someone must do something. Someone must stand up and try to prevent evil from growing more powerful. People that do this are rare and precious. To end up blaming them for the evil they fight is so unfair. It embarrasses me. You didn't make that package. You didn't send it. You didn't kill our son. I know, but it was still my fault. I failed to protect him. If I was no cop, you wouldn't be you. That's what you do. Look, you are not responsible for the evil done by others. You must not hesitate. Otherwise, they'll have it their way. I know. I trade my life for his in a second.
suspect killed. Copy. Adding info to the mission log. Bomb disarmed. Roger that. Hands up now, drop your knees! Hands up now, drop your knees!
Suspect is breathing but unconscious. Roger. Calling ambulance. out. Needs medical aid. Copy. Adding info to the mission log.
trying to destroy. There's a lot of documents in this room and a map of the city. We have their locations. I think we'll be able to rescue them. Copy. Trailers. 